What's going on everybody? Just want to do a quick tutorial about how to map out all of your parameters within Battery 4 on Machine 2.0 so that you can automate from all the knobs and that you can really, you know, map out all the parameters that you need. Uh, because as you know, Battery 4 has a lot of good parameters, but on Machine 2.0, none of them are automatically mapped. So, first of all, let's go ahead and load up a kit. I really like the Afro Shop kit. I already have it in keyboard mode because if it's in pad mode, I'm only going to get that one sound. So, load it up to keyboard mode. I can get access all the sounds on battery and a lot of good sounds within this kit. So, now what I'm going to be doing is let's just go ahead and open up, you know, battery four. As you see, there's nothing really mapped already. So, I open up uh, the GI. Now, what I'm going to be doing actually is hitting the plus sign here on machine. Make sure you hit that plus sign. I don't know why they make you do it because it would have been easier without the step, but go ahead and hit the plus. Go ahead right here and hit learn. And now I can actually learn different parameters. There's so many you can learn within battery. So let's check out this kick here the Afro Shop Kick. How about I go ahead and mess with the filter. So I'm going to turn on the filter. And I already have learn hit within machine 2.0. I'm just going to right hit, right click and enable host automation from the software. And now take a look. The cutoff is actually mapped out. So I'm able to adjust it. If you notice, I got the cutoff, you know, medium. I got the cutoff you know, real low, and there it is. So I can actually adjust it. If you want to add another one, you got to go right here again, hit learn. And let's check out another sound. Right above, I got the djembe. I already have learn hit. How about I mess with the reverb from battery? Right click it, enable host automation ID one. Now it says send reverb right there. And if you notice, there's no reverb. Let's turn it up. There's the reverb. Okay. Let's mess with another sound. There's a hi hat. Let's turn on the pitch envelope. Maybe I can get you know some cool sounds out of it. Make sure you hit learn again. All machine 2.0. Again, I think they can make a little bit easier workflow, but we'll see if they, they make an improvement. Uh, we're gonna be going here. Right click and pitch envelope and the amount enable host automation. There it is. So now you know I can flip up the sound of the hi hat, make it you know a totally different sound because of the pitch envelope amount that's now mapped to the hardware. What else we got here? A nice little clap, but the clap will be even nicer with some reverb. Hit the learn and let's enable host automation. There it is. And what else? A couple bells. But you know, let's get a little more greedy sound. Let's go here to the effects. And let's mess with the lo-fi. So I'm going to go ahead, hit learn. And we'll mess with the bits on this one. Enable host automation. There it is. The lo-fi mapped. Again, all this stuff's being mapped to the hardware. And if we move it over, also the software. There it is. And finally, let's go with that other one. You know what? I'm going to mess again with the bits on this one. You know, get a little more gritty sound. Hit the learn. Turn on the bits. Let's hit enable host automation. So there it is. And let's see how that works when you really want to automate it. So let's get a little beat going. I only got one hand. I'm just doing this tutorial on the iPhone, man. So... We'll see how this goes.
got the basic pattern laid down. Now, as you know, a machine, if you hit shift along with the automate button, you're going to be able to actually automate everything in real time. So it should show up down here, all the automations. Let's start off step by step. I'll just go, you know, one automation at a time. Since I only got one hand, I'm doing this on the iPhone. Here we go. So there you get the idea. It's just a good way to map out all the parameters you want within Battery 4 on Machine 2.0. You know, definitely there could be some improvements made to make the workflow smooth, but hey man, nevertheless, you can really map out all the sounds that you want and really get, you know, a lot of the modulations that are available on Battery 4. Because as you know, there's a lot of good sounds and a lot of good modulations. Definitely uh, hit me up if you have any questions when you're actually doing the modulations and the assignments um, within the learn mode i noticed if you're playing the beat at the same time it can get a little tricky because it will actually enable host automation on you know whatever pad or different things that you hit so you know make sure you just do it step by step like that and if you have any questions feel free to hit me up I want to give a real big shout out to uh, machinetutorials.com thank you guys they really turned me on to some of these ideas um, and also to flexwithit.com, who's always putting in work. Um, and you know, a lot of the cats out there that are putting in really good tutorials for machine. So, you know, much love out there, and let's keep making some good music, man. Peace, everybody.